I'm going to show some improvements to the Sentry application within Slack. And the use case I'll be showing is inbound prospecting emails. So if someone visits your website, there's a shared inbox for all the leads that come there. Uh, you can also imagine a support inbox, um, very similar flow. Now, I've configured this so that any inbox email will show up in the Slack channel with some actions on it. So um, different from Slack, which has an in, uh, email functionality, this will actually not only render the actual email address just like Slack, but have actions to either reply to it or to create leads from it if you're a Salesforce user. So let's show that. I have an incoming um, email that will pop up in the Slack channel and we'll see how we react to it. Okay, here's our new email from our from this person who's asking for a demo. Uh, we have the short email up here that's just the text of the email, but if we actually want to see the full email just like you would in Slack, we, we have that attached here at the bottom so we can see all the images and other rich HTML. So I can collapse that if I don't need to see it anymore. Now, what's nice is I can reply here uh, right in Slack or create a lead if I'm a Salesforce user. So I'll hit create lead and <clears throat> pull from our Salesforce data the page layout. And we see we actually fill in some stuff like the first name, the last name, and email address for you. Now, now that we have that in our Salesforce, I can reply here um, using our auto draft functionality or um, replies using templates. I'll pick um, a template this time and we will pick our inbound lead and hit draft. And now we have um, a drafted email, we can edit this. And of course, this is visible to the whole team. So I've, pros I've got emails coming in. Our team who um, works together on processing leads can all react to them together and um, keep our system record Salesforce up to date in this case. All right, thanks for watching.